guys, Nery here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you're up, and let's go. Oh, I was just playing, uh, I was just uh, streaming Scorn for some of my friends. Man, it is a, it's a very interesting game, I will say. Some of the puzzles in it, though, will have you scratching your head for a little bit. Anyway. Could be that it he could it be that he actually took my advice to heart? Holy shit! Did I tame the beast? Hmm. Shuichi scratches his chin, looking thoughtful. Is something puzzling you? No, I just realized that we're alone right now. Wasn't that the whole point behind you asking me to stay here by myself? I have an idea. Come with me for a second, will you? Shuichi grabs me by the hand and leads me away. Where are we going? There's a maintenance closet nearby that is always empty. No one's going to use it today, so it's safe. Why are you taking me to a closet? Because I want to kiss you, and I can't do that in public, dummy. <gasps> Crap, he just said something really embarrassing like it was nothing. I, I can't take this. My face gets so hot, I, I feel like I cook an egg on it. Shuichi nonchalantly opens the door to the closet, getting us both inside and closing it behind us like it was nothing. Wow, it's tight in here. I said it was private. I didn't say it was spacious. Fair point. I guess I... Ah. Almost as soon as the door is closed behind us, Shuichi wraps his arms around me, shutting me up with a kiss. Jeez, at least let me finish talking. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I just had to get my hands on you as soon as I could. That's a really embarrassing thing to say. Even though he'd been playing until recently, his fur and shirt hadn't been soaking wet like I thought he'd be. He was certainly a bit damp, but that's something I'd grown more than used to over the years. Heh, <laughs> sorry. That match really got my blood running in a good way. What do you... He barely gives me the time to react. Shuchi's hands rub and squeeze my back as he continues to kiss me over and over. Shuchi's lips keep smacking against mine over and over. Instead of one long, satisfying kiss, Shuichi finally gives me multiple fleeting kisses all over. Nipples on my ears, kisses my neck, my cheek, and touches me all over. In fact, he goes especially for my neck. Even though it really feels good and I have to, and I have to resist the urge to make sounds, something about it still bothers me. Sh Shuichi, hang on for a second. As soon as I say those words, he steps away from me, suddenly looking worried. Is something wrong? You don't have to look at me like I shot your puppy. I'm sorry? Is there something wrong or not? Kinda, it's just you're being really forward all of a sudden. It feels out of place. I mean, you have tried to be spontaneous in the past, but right now you're just coming out of coming at me out of nowhere without even giving me room to breathe. And we've only been dating for a few days. I don't think we're ready to be all over each other quite like that yet. Huh. Is he avoiding my gaze now? Why is your face so red all of a sudden? It's kind of an embarrassing thing about me. Now I've got to know. What is it? Um, can't you just ignore it? Nope. Spill. Whenever I have a really good match, I sometimes get a, a bit riled up. Why is that embarrassing? Most people do. Hell, I do too. N no, that's that's a different kind of riled up. I don't understand what you mean. Um, uh, I, uh, here. Shuichi grabs my hand and... Ah! My hand is placed directly on top of Shuichi's crotch, where I immediately feel something hard pushing against the fabric. I, it got like this as soon as I started kissing you. I stand frozen in place, unable to move or do anything. I just feel it pulsing against my hand. My face gets hotter and hotter by the passing second. Um, you can pull your hand away now. Right! I take a step away from him, rubbing the back of my neck awkwardly, unable to hold his gaze. Sorry, it's a really weird thing to do all of a sudden, huh? Kinda? So, volleyball just pushes your buttons? No, it's not like that and- Oh god, kill me now. Sorry, no can do. So, if it's not the volleyball that does it, then what is it? You're not gonna let this go, are you? Unlikely. Huh? <sighs> Shuichi looks away from me again, his face so red that I can see it through his navy blue fur. He swallows multiple times, opening his mouth every time before closing it again and repeating this ritual. He does not He does it seven more times before words finally come out of his mouth. It's when I play a, a really satis a satisfying game. My blood gets pumping and I start feeling like I'm being challenged. Or when I feel like I'm doing really well. This match right now was the, was the latter. I felt really good because we did super well. My mind was rushing and my heart was beating so fast with ecstasy the whole time. After we were done, I just wanted to find you, bring you here, and, well, fool around, I guess? Man, that's really brazen of you. I've always had these kinds of impulses. They're just harder to control when my blood gets pumping. That would explain why you were so touchy-feely during your practice. <laughs> Busted, huh? Maybe we should head back to the lobby. Aw, oh, but I still wanted to kiss you lots more. Yeah, well, maybe it wouldn't be a good idea when you're this worked up. I 
I get that it can be embarrassing, but I don't think it was something I needed to hide from you anymore. I just think that it's a bit too soon for me to be feeling your thing through your pants. You don't have to touch it. I also wasn't going to let my hands anywhere below your waist without your permission. I'm not some kind of sex fiend. You sure? You brought me to a secluded closet already because you wanted me alone. Yeah, because I wanted to kiss you, not because I wanted to do whatever it is you're thinking of. Fuji steps away from me, crossing his arms and rubbing the bridge of his nose, letting out an exasperated sigh. Well, safe to say the mood is gone. Sorry. Whatever, let's just get back to the lobby and wait for the others. I nod, reaching for the handle of the door. But first... Ah! You bastard. Chuichi quickly gives me a peck on the cheek, a big smile on his face. I just wanted to tell you that you look really handsome today. I love you. No! Ah, don't you just say the embarrassing things like that? Don't just say embarrassing things like that all of a sudden? <laughs> well, you were on the court. I also thought that you looked really stunning. Careful, if you keep saying things like that, I'm going to jump you again. And back to the lobby we go. A few hours later. Man, that was a great match. Twitchy runs up to us as soon as he's finished with his post-match interview. I step behind Sai to make sure this the same incident uh, from earlier doesn't have happened again. You all seem to be in really in a really good mood. I guess having easy matchups does that to you. Stop being so negative about everything. You should be happy that we've qualified for the finals. Why? It's not like I'm going to be playing in them. The only reason you're not one of our regulars is because of your terrible attitude. What? Seriously? This guy was supposed to be one of the regulars? You don't have to act so surprised. Wolf puffs in annoyance, glaring at Saya. Sorry. When Haruki first joined the club last year and we saw what, what he could do, we saw what he could do, we were really all excited. We thought he would be our ace player from now on. Then he started insulting everyone and refusing to behave. Eventually, he was removed from the players select, selected for matches. Haruki avoids Suichi's gaze, grumbling. Although, I've noticed a marked improvement in his attitude over the past two weeks, which actually surprised me a lot. I was talking to Coach about maybe putting him into our match tomorrow. Wolf's ears twitch as he turns his head to look straight at Shuichi. Hmm. I could care one way or another. Those are the words he says, but... I see his tail beginning to wag really slowly from side to side, almost like he was making a conscious effort to suppress it. I've had my doubts about it for a while, but seeing how he acted when he first saw Aki and now this... This guy is the type that just can't be honest about how he feels, isn't he? I lean towards Aki outside the Faruki's sight. This brings something to him, and I'm keeping him in mind how good the wolf's hearing is. Hey, Aki, try praising and encouraging him over it. Eki shoots me a curious look before nodding. Eki tugs on Haruki's arm with a huge smile on his face. Isn't that great? You'll be able to play and show everyone how good you are. That's amazing, Haruki-san. Huh? <laughs> Wolf's eyes go wide as he looks down at my brother, who plays the part of excited little boy perfectly. Huh. I guess it is. Thanks, kid. He pets Eki's head, a gentle smile on his face. Yep, I'm sure of it now. I recognize that look anywhere. Hey, Haruki, do you have any siblings? I have a little brother. Why? How old is your brother? His eyebrows fur as he looks at me with confusion. Thankfully, I think Aki's still doing a pretty good job of making the guy behave, and the wolf doesn't even notice it. I guess he's around your brother's age. Again. Why? No reason. Shuichi flashes me a smile as he finally realizes where I'm going with this. Yeah, the look I've been seeing on Haruki's face is one I know all too well. It's the look of a loving older brother. There's no way I could mistake it. The guy probably has a soft spot for Aki because he reminds him of his own brother. <laughs> I feel like I could really exploit that. Oh, you bastard. Um, for good reasons, of course. Yeah, yeah, Coach said that if you can cooperate with the team, he'll put you back in. You've already been doing a lot better lately, and I, I think you could give it a try. What you th What do you think? Imagine how your little bro would feel if he saw his brother playing during the finals of a big competition. Huh? Hook, line, and sinker. Wolf looks away, suddenly looking very embarrassed. And still petting Aki's head. Has he even noticed it by this point? I don't know. I still think this team is just a bunch of little... Please don't curse in front of my little brother. Oh, sorry. He doesn't even realize he's being played, does he? Just make sure to show up tomorrow with your uniform, okay? And again, try to be courteous. I don't know if I... Rookie san I'll be cheering for you too. <laughs> His face immediately goes red. I'll try my best. I give Aki a thumbs up and he flashes me a cheeky smile. Ah, we found a way to hack his moods. About half an hour about half an hour later, we all decide to head back home for the day. Since we all live around the same direction, the four of us walk most of the path together. Man, if we somehow manage to tame, uh, to tame Koizumi, then we're going to have a huge boost tomorrow. 
I've talked to him a few times lately, and I've always got the feeling that he that he was just trying to push people away because he doesn't really know how to deal with them. He even gave me advice on how to deal with Shuichi in his own little way. I think if you think of his constant insults as playful ribbing, he becomes a lot easier to deal with. I don't think people would think of it like that. I thought he was really rude at first, but after you told him to stop being insulting, he really did. I was surprised. He's been a lot more civil with me lately. Ever since that conversation we had in the roof, he's been much nicer. I guess he feels like he lost in his own game back then and now respects me or something like that? Why can't he be that nice to me or the other club members? And from what I gather, he thinks your way of always being cheerful and encouraging is actually you looking down on people. What? That's ridiculous. I agree, but it's how he sees him. It's how he sees it. And I don't think you could convince him otherwise. Maybe you could go with a different approach when you deal with him. Oh yeah? Like what? Fall for his baits and butt his head butt and butt heads with him? That might actually work. You're kidding me. You're trying to talk to him like he's some kind of average Joe when he clearly isn't. He doesn't like people who are just nice for the sake of being nice. Just be blunt instead. Throw your weight around. That might work better. This all sounds like terrible advice. If you don't plan on if you didn't plan on changing the way you deal with it, then why did you even ask in the first place? I don't know, don't get me wrong. I'll try it. It just sounds like terrible advice. Smart ass. <laughs> We arrive at my house after a somewhat long walk. Do you guys want to come inside for a bit? Sorry. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. Dad asked me to go straight home after the competition, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, Shuichi-san, I won't be available tomorrow. Uh, oh, I see. I, I want to go, but I already have something else that I cannot skip. It's all right, Junkun. But I'll be cheering for you in my mind. I hope you guys win. <laughs> Thanks. I won't have time to stop by and pick you up tomorrow, you. Try not to be late, okay? It's alright. I will have already have the bucket of water prepared in case he doesn't get up. I swear I won't be late. I'll hold you to that. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Sunday, May 28th. Oh. Everybody up. Everyone's wearing new clothing. The match is about to start. The mood today is totally unlike yesterday's. We can't bring ourselves to play and joke around like we did then. This is it. Minute. Minamikawa, Minamikawa versus Shura Shimbuya, Minamikawa versus Shuriyama. Shuichi has never been able to defeat Shuriyama before. They're basically his arch rivals. And the fact that they're a team similar to his own, his uh, similar to his only stings him further. They're both teams that forsake individual strength in favor of unity. Shuichi is without a doubt the best individual player in that court, but even that doesn't mean anything. You can't play by yourself in volleyball. That also means you can't win or lose by yourself either. You think they can do it this time? I really hope so. Shuichini was really excited that the wolf that, that wolf was going to be playing this time. Maybe the guy will make a difference after all. He certainly had a lot of praise to give him. Even if all that praise was blanketed under annoyance over Haruki's personality. Ugh, they haven't even started yet and my chest already hurts. That's because we know how much is riding on this. If Arata loses here, that is the end of his high school volleyball career. Shuichini, please win. Every one of us is feeling on edge right now. Even I am. My chest feels so incredibly tight. Shuichi might act like he doesn't care about volleyball that much, but I don't want to imagine how he might how he might how he might be if he lost today. On what's supposed to be his last chance. God, if you exist, please help Shuichi. They're starting! Just like Sai says, the players have finished their warm-up routines, and the captains are now flipping a coin to decide who will serve first. Last year Shibuyama had two players who could do jump serves. Do you think they've gotten any better at, this, at that this time around? Wasn't one of those players a senior? That would mean he's graduated by now, right? And there should only be one left. Yeah, but that was months ago. Other players could have learned how to do it by then. Plus, you always have to account have to account by any arriving freshman. According to the brochure, they only, they only have one freshman as a regular. Uh, which one is it? Number 15, uh, that really tall middle blocker. Yikes, that guy's built like a truck. He almost looks like his, he almost looks as tall as Shuichi, too. Other than that, their team is built mostly of juniors and seniors. High school doesn't have any freshmen in the starting players. Yeah. The other team won the coin toss. Their captain is the first one to serve. He gets in position for a jump serve. Uh, I remember that guy from last year. His servers were a pain in the ass then, too. Yeah, I recognize that deer. He was the only one in Shuriyama that could match Shuichi's serves. But then again, considering how much of an upgrade Shuichi has gone through, I really don't think this guy could keep up in that area. He tosses the ball into the air and jumps after it. Huh? The hit, the hit ball goes much slower than expected. 
swerving erratically in the air. I faintly hear one of the players barking in order and jumping after the ball. He attempts to get the ball with an underhanded receive, but it swerves at the last second and hits him in the forearm instead, bouncing out of the court. What? Well, huh? That guy can do a jump float now? That is so annoying. Chuichi gives the player that missed the ball a pat on the back. Play resumes with the deer once again tossing the ball into the air. Will it be a floater again? This time the ball is hit with tons of momentum, making a loud smack that echoes through the, through the court. It flies like a bullet towards the other side. At least one good thing that can be said of Shuichi's ridiculous training routines. He practiced his jump serve so many times against his teammates that they've grown used to fastballs. In an instant, a player dashes towards the ball, making clean contact with it and sending in the ball to the setter position. Nice! Shuichi jumps to make faster, faster contact with that ball. His form is so clean that I can't tell at all where he's going to send it. He tosses the ball behind him, to the spiker directly next to him. The spiked ball collides against the tip of the opposing blocker's fingers. It flies into the opponent's court. Because of the decrease in momentum, they're able to receive it clearly in continuing the rally. Their setter isn't as impressive as Shuichi. He t his tosses aren't as accurate, and I think, he is, I think he either doesn't like to or doesn't know how to do jump tosses consistently. He definitely doesn't call as much attention to Sh as Shuichi does. Both teams continue to connect the ball and keep the rally going. Sorry, guys. It's kind of late. I'm tired. All right. So far, it seems they're neck and neck. Shuichi organizes better attacks, so our team's offensive power is higher. But Shuriyama has better blockers and are capable of, uh, capable of keeping us from scoring the point. Right from the start of the match, the game is close. And the ball is received cleanly and sent right for Shuichi. So far, he's been doing a good job of distributing the ball. Back attacks, quick attacks. He used every single one of his spikers at one point or another and made a good job in giving them good passes. Then, to our surprise, instead of tossing the ball, Shuichi's hands meet it just above the net and he slightly pushes it onto the other team's side. Caught by surprise, the ball falls behind the blockers and their defenders cannot save it. Wow, Shuichi usually isn't the type to do dump attacks. After the loss last year, he said something about increasing his offensive skill set. I guess this was what he meant by that. Because the serve that blows your arms off clearly wasn't enough, right? Haruki san hasn't really done much so far. Oh yeah, that's true. Shuichi hasn't tossed him, tossed him, tossed to him much yet, even though the guy's at the net. Shuichi isn't the kind that trusts in his instincts. He tends to avoid making plays that he hasn't practiced tons of times before. He's probably avoiding Haruki since he doesn't have much experience with him. Just then a ball is tossed to Haruki and the wolf leaps, spiking it at an insane inner angle to allow the ball to fly right past the blockers. Whoa, what a crazy spike! Either that was a fluke, or that guy really is crazy good. Right now, I think it's both. The match continues at a high pace the whole time. Even though last year our team got almost completely shafted, this time they're managing to hold on much better. A lot of it comes down to our offense, with our team constantly hammering away at them. It takes everything they've got just to hold on. They're having a hard time mounting an offensive because of it. Still, the score is incredibly close. Shuriyama is leading 18-16. to Man, our team is doing well, but they can't seem to pull ahead. Shiriyama is well known for having one of the best defenses in the country, but strong receivers and blockers. Getting past that is no easy feat. But that makes the match drag on forever. It's so annoying to watch. How do they even have the stamina to play a full match like that? Just because they specialize in defense doesn't mean they don't have good offense. My guess is that they always aim to end matches quickly by shutting out the other teams with spikers. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!